Hello everyone, thank you for taking a look at my video on my channel, and welcome to Grand Union. So guys, today I wanted to put the furniture back out at Nook's Cranny. Let's go over to the construction desk here, because I want to do a custom pattern on the furniture. So let's customize it. Alright, so that's the log stool. Let's start with the chair. Okay, guys, so you can see we have um, the orange and blue check um, on the furniture right now. And I think I want to change that up for the winter season. So we are going to keep it in front of Nook's Cranny. But guys, I was kind of thinking this would look really nice. Possibly this. Or maybe even this here. Let's see what else we have. Um, that's kind of cool. That's not bad. Kind of wintry. Let's see what else we have. Hmm. Because I know Nook's Cranny has a lot of orange, blue, and red in the building. Well, that's kind of a nice modern look. I don't like that. Hmm. That's actually kind of cool. I don't know, guys. The bright colors are kind of fun. Those would be really great in the summertime. Well, let's see what else we have. Oh, the newsprint pillow is kind of cool. Mm, I don't think so. All right. I don't like any of those. That's kind of cool. Sometimes it's hard picking out the patterns. All right. Oh, that looks kind of nice, actually, the uh, hound's tooth. I think I'm going to do this. Ready to customize? I am. All right, guys, here we go. And I'm going to continue customizing. I'm going to do the extra long sofa. And we also want to go to the patterns. All right. Yep, that works. All right, looks good. Uh, I think I'm done for now. What time is it now? It is almost seven o'clock on Saturday night. Oh, don't mind the construction equipment, guys. Mm -hmm. 
Guys, it's my boy Curlos. Alright guys, so let's put the sofa back out. That looks, um, yeah, that looks about right. And then we're going to put the chair back out, guys. Let's see, and the stool. Yeah, that looks good. All right, and then we're gonna put the plant back out. What? There used to be places to put it. Oh, I'm hitting the wrong thing. That's why. I think that looks about right, right? Yeah, that looks good. Nice. I like the new seat cushions. Those are kind of cool. I'll be interested to see what they look like during the day. Because you know how things look different at nighttime. All right, let's see what else we have here. I have an orange and a striped shirt that Curlos gave me. So let's go, let's drop those off here at the box. I want to sell something. So I've already been in Nook's Cranny earlier today. I want to put away my customization tools. There we go. Now guys, I have a tailor ticket that I get to use. Um, the other night when I had my live stream, I guess if you haven't seen my live stream yet, uh, definitely go back and check it out. I was on for, I think, just about two hours, and um, Label was at the plaza, so I actually put on a goth outfit, which she didn't actually say look like a goth outfit, and um, I was able to get tailor tickets. Okay, guys, don't mind the construction equipment. All right, guys, let's go in and see Mabel. Hi, Mabel. How you doing? Hello there. We changed our lineup every day, so be sure to check back regularly. All right. Well, Mabel, I have a tailor ticket that I want to use today. So I'm going to walk around your store and see what, see what we have here. Looks rather interesting. Look at this nice shirt here. Are, are you following me around? What are you doing? I'm just I'm just looking at your stuff. 
back here and see this. What are you, what are you up to? I don't really like it. I don't, I don't like you following me this close. You know, Mabel, this might be why your sales are down here at um, the Able Sisters. Because if you're doing this with all your customers, very disrespectful. Make me feel like I'm going to steal something while you're not looking. Do you need the fitting room? Go right ahead. Oh, is that a tailor ticket you've got there? Lucky you. You can exchange that for one item in the store for up to 3,000 bells, free of charge. <clears throat> Be sure to use it sometime. I'm going to plan on using it today. Let's see what we got here. We have an Iran knit sweater. Oh, this gray is really nice. I have that already. And I have the orange and I have the blue one. And we have these emblem blazers here. Oh, don't we look fancy? Hmm. Oh, what's this here? A tweed jacket? Oh, guys, I kind of like the tweed jacket. Maybe not the pink, the green. I think I have the blue one. Oh, guys, it's Eric's sweater. I'm pretty sure I already have Eric. Oh, no, this is Eric's sweater here. All right, I know I have that one. So I might not have this one here. That's kind of cool. Hmm. Wow, these hats are expensive. Wow, and these hats are really expensive too. Hmm. Guys, I can spend up to 3,000 bells. I've got these nice jackets here. It's called a retro coat. Hmm. I'm trying to think. <clears throat> Well, no, I'm not, I'm not sure yet. I wanted to kind of look at my villagers for a minute. So I have Shino, she's one of my new villagers, and Renee, we have Bones, Blue Bear, and Tammy. Hmm. Hmm. All right, let's go back in. I do need the fitting room. So I don't normally give my villagers clothing, guys. But I'm thinking where I have so much money it's gonna be it's gonna be free so we get the red 
got the green, we got the blue, and we got the camel color. Um, I usually give my villagers fossils though when I'm gonna give them gifts. Oh, don't, don't I look dapper. I think I have the tweed and the brown and the blue. Oh, I hit the wrong button again. Oh my gosh, guys. All right. I'm going to use this ticket here to purchase this item, and we're going to give that to Renee. Guys, I'm wearing Renee's jacket. Don't, don't say anything to her. Oh, for heaven's sakes. Thank you. All right, guys, let's go back over to the storage shed. Oh, this Carlos. Hey, Carlos, what's going on? I guess you must have splurged for the all-access pass, huh? Curlos Unlimited. What's going on, buddy? Hey, you're really dressed up today. You headed to the after party? Curlos, don't ask why I'm wearing this jacket. It was a mistake. There's no before party that I know about, but I always ask everyone just in case. Oh, guys, everybody's gone. All right, guys. What should I do? I need to get something out. And I want to wear... Whoop. I think I was wearing this here earlier. Right? Is that what I was wearing? Oh, guys, while I'm here, I can check and see if I have those suit coats that are at Sables right now. Mm hmm. <laughs> Yep, I have the brown and I have the blue. I just have to get the pants that go with them. Okay. I think. There we go, we're gonna wear that. Hey guys, what's going on? I want to... <clears throat> um... Well, the coat is brown, so why don't we go ahead... I'm gonna buy one. this up. It's been a while since I've given my villagers any clothing. What do I have here, guys? Oh, I did my customization. That's good. 
I have talked to Curlos today. Ooh, guys, Curlos. Two, four, six, eight. That's a thousand. That's a now thousand nook points, guys. All right, I gotta go talk to two more people. So I think I saw bones running around. And then I talked to Renee to give her her gift that'll count as three people. Curlos is back. There's Shino. Hey, Shino. How are you? Okay. Did you know the moon is about 235,000 miles away? I'm going to walk around Grand Union Shore until I've walked that far. Just call me Moon Deer. <laughs> That's cute. Alright guys, I've just gotten used to where like everything is here on Grand Union. And Renee is never home. I don't even know if I've seen inside her house yet. There she is. Chuck, what's up? I feel like I haven't had any FaceTime with you lately. I didn't scare you or anything, right? I know it can be a bit much sometimes, sugar shaker. Well, don't take off. Still got more to say, sugar shaker? This is for you. Whoa, what is it, sugar shaker? It's a gift. This is so awesome. What's in there? This, whoa, really? A retro coat? I bet this will look great on me. Thanks, Chuck. So you, what do you think? Do I look good or do I look awesome? Take a fishing vest. Guys, I kind of like that. I get together with my buddy Brad every once in a while. We do fishing tournaments. I think I'm going to hang on to that. Well, next time I get together with him to go fishing, put on my fancy fishing vest and show off. Alright guys, the last thing I wanted to share with you today... We unfortunately have another situation on our hands, guys. Kurt has gotten out of control again. So you remember how I always complain that he brings tires and throws them all around out in his dooryard? That's something he's been doing since he came to the island and I never could understand what was going on because he doesn't have a car. Well, guys, he bought himself a Chevette. I don't know if you guys remember what, what a Chevette is, but it's a car from the 1980s. And unfortunately, the oil pan is broken. And there's oil leaking out all over the ground here. But he's happy because he was able to find himself a radiator to replace the radiator that's broken in the car. Unfortunately, I really don't know what he's up to because there's no vehicles on Grand Union with the exception of the construction equipment. So I'm not really sure what he's planning, but in any event, we now have oil spilling out here onto the ground 
from the car's engine. So if EPA finds out about this, we're going to be in a lot of trouble. Lucky it's been too long. You know, you don't need to... Some cockamamie reason to come talk to old Kurt, right? Well, I'm just glad you stopped by. Take care now. No, no. What are you working on? Once I start something, I've got to keep on going until it's done. Guess I'm getting more stubborn with age. What are you making? What, this thing? I'm making a wooden plank sign. It's tough, but I got ages of patience. Reckon you need that to be into DIY cupcake? Wait, you know how to make a wooden plank sign already? Yes, I do. Is that so? I had no idea you were that so handy, Lucky. You might have the know-how, but you have written instructions. Because it so happens I've got a DIY recipe here you can share around. If my wooden plank sign recipe catches on, I'll have you to thank Cupcake. All right, guys, we're not even going to address the car right now. Guys, look at the full moon. Oh, guys, it's shooting stars. Is it a shooting star kind of night? Guys, is it? Oh, it is. Oh, guys, I'm I'm wishing on stars. Well, this was a good night to come on and do a video. I just wanted to come back here to see the moon. I thought the moon looked pretty awesome. All right, guys, and we got this area all cleaned out over here. This is what I was working on the other day from uh, the live stream, guys. So we got this area all cleared out. With the exception of the, oh, I think I missed one, guys. But I still have my construction storage shed here. at the shooting stars. I very rarely see shooting stars because I don't play a lot at night. So so what's the deal? Tomorrow when you load the game, the star fragments will be, will be on the beach along with the seashells. If I'm not mistaken. Guys, check out the moon. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, guys, I didn't finish picking up over here. Oh, you know something? I think this is when I um, had technical difficulties, difficulties the other day.
Okay, guys, so we got some of that cleaned out. That's good. Oh, yeah. All right, guys, well, I am going to go hang out and, um... pretty good. Got that all cleaned up. How close am I to being full? Almost full. Not quite, but almost. Almost. Everything's looking pretty good, guys. All right, guys. I want to take a minute and say thank you so much for watching my video today. Doing my daily runarounds in the evening. Watching me wish on stars. And um, we will see you in the next video. Hopefully, if you haven't had a chance, check out my um, Daily Villager birthday shorts that I've been doing. Um, I think we're up to day number eight now. Day number eight or day number nine. So definitely check that out. Um, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, hit that subscribe button below. And um, give me a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it. And I guess until next time, guys, we will talk to you soon. Bye.